Hi. I hope you're all, you're all okay. Um, now, excuse the state of me. I am terribly hungover, as you can probably tell. Um, because the frag head meetup happened and I drank far too much, which is neither cool nor awesome at my age. I mean, children, just wait till you get to my age and, like, hangovers really don't become fun anymore. Um, so, yeah, so since... I have tested quite a lot of frags yesterday. I thought I'd share my thoughts about a particular frag. Um, which uh, kind of shocked me, actually. Now, the frag I am talking about is this little nugget here. This is Elixir by Roja Parfum. Now, we all know Roja. We all know the guy has his own style. That the entire brand is built around... Frags that are um, loud, kind of brash actually, complex, complicated, polarizing, um, kind of unique in a way, and sometimes even verging into that really vulgar territory when it comes to all that opulence. And I think many of us will know this feeling I get whenever I come near a Roja counter. I mean, I, I look at it and I become a little bit incontinent. Um, I'm sure many of you can relate, because you just never know what treasures you're going to find. So I went yesterday, and yes, I did become a little bit incontinent, and then I saw that new bottle, that pink bottle, lovely, tall, sort of light, lush pink, just sitting there with its beautiful golden stopper. Um very sort of different in style to what we're used to from Roja. So of course I tested it. Couldn't really smell much in there. But since I was lucky enough to, to receive a sample, wow, a sample, a sample, guys, seriously, selfridges. Now these tend to be like hen's teeth, but yes, we all got samples. So today I gave it a proper wearing. Um, I'm not even sure where to start with this, to be honest. Because what I want to say, now before I even get to all the spraying, I mean, I'm already wearing it, this, I've been wearing it for about a couple hours now, just to get to the dry down. Uh, but we are going to start from the beginning, and uh, the very beginning is, let me just spray this. Wait a little, a little short while, yeah. The alcohol evaporate and Roja, you're right there, babe. Like, is everything okay? Can I call someone? Like, is there is there anything I can do to help? Help because I'm not understanding this. This does not compute. I can smell peach. Yep, yeah. there's a peach there. It's sort of fuzzy, sweet, and succulent peach. But you know what? It's a peach. There's a raspberry there. And I can tell you, like, I appreciate that raspberry, I think, is quite a difficult note to work with. Because pretty much all the perfumes that I've ever tried that contain raspberry, that raspberry tends to smell sort of artificial and plasticky and I've never really come across a really photorealistic raspberry. And guess what? No, this one isn't photorealistic either. It's just a raspberry. Slightly plasticky, but... There's a rose there and it's a very pleasant rose, but it's not... But it's nothing to write home about. There's like nothing particularly um, unique about this take on rose. There's something sweet and powdery there. A little bit like vintage makeup. I, I suspect that's the powdery sort of sweet violet note. I can definitely detect a little bit of vanilla. Some musk. But this is just such a generic fruity floral musk um, that doesn't stand out from the crowd in any way, shape or form whatsoever. Um, 
there's nothing unique about it. I feel like this has been done to death. Um, there isn't... One, there isn't anything in it that would justify the price. Two... The longevity is piss poor. I can only smell some vague, clean, mus sweetish musk here after two hours. Like, two hours, darlings. Two hours. I'm not kidding. If somebody told me this is a Mar this was a Max and Spencer's frag, I would totally believe them. It is well blended and well rounded and... Um, there's nothing sharp about it, nothing sort of screeching at you. It's just a nice fruity, floral, musky blend. A nice little pinkish cloud. I think the peach being the main player here, I think, to my nose at least. But no. But no, this... The, this isn't good at all. I mean, this is a p perfectly pleasant fragrance, don't get me wrong. It's it's perfectly nice. It's uh, very inoffensive. It's it's very feminine. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's, it's powdery, but not too powdery. Uh, it's kind of well balanced. It's also incredibly boring. And that's not what Roger is about, unless, unless they are you know, changing now or something. I hope not. I really hope that this is just a little blip. I hope this is just a temporary lapse in judgment or something. Because this is not good enough. Uh, I mean, I was going to say, I was reading that, you know, that the marketing spiel, the, the, note from the brand and they mentioned the word effortless and you know what that's actually what it what this is it's effortless because i can't imagine that a lot of effort had come into uh, creating this fragrance this is really as boring and bland as it gets and that's from the brand that previously brought me uh, bloody amazing pongers such as Candy Oud, which they have now pulled, thank you very much, like, seriously, <laughs> how they've pulled Candy Oud and apparently replaced it with this. What the fuck are you playing at, guys? Because I'm not getting this, it, it does not compute. Roja... Darling, I love you, but please, fix this. This isn't Roja. Roja is the flamboyant, it's all the things deep, it's all the things polarizing. And, and this is not good enough. Put some... Please put some actual effort into your next release. And I think I've, you know, I, I am I am very drunk and I think I've rambled. I, I'm not drunk, sorry. <laughs> yeah, mentally I'm still there last night. But no, I am very hungover. I am kind of tired. I am hungry. I'm in a bad mood. Um, And I think I've rambled on that for, for quite long enough. I mean, there's no longevity or see. And like nothing to talk about so I am going to go now and I'm going to leave you be this was never going to be a long in-depth video I just felt like saying hi to everyone um, and I am going to attempt to at least find something a bit more interesting to talk about for the next video if I decide to make another video so bye babes um, don't bother yourself with this stick to the good stuff this isn't even worth testing Bye.